Hey guys, what's going on? It is Extreme Zero here again, and today I am bringing you yet another video tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be overlooking a feature that basically is very important, despite the fact that it's very small. And it, like I said, it's very important to a lot of people, and that was the option to go ahead and shuffle your wallpaper slideshow. Now, that option was available in past versions of Windows, like Windows 7, but it was, for whatever reason, disabled here in Windows 10. And I'm going to show you a very simple way to get that back. Now, for those of you who don't know, the shuffle feature is really simple. It's the same way like how when you shuffle songs, you know, you're picking a song at random. With the shuffle wallpaper feature, it allows you to pick a wallpaper at random. Now, Windows gives you the option to go ahead and set a specific time as to when you want the wallpaper to switch over to another. You know, whether it be 30 seconds or whether it be an entire day. Anyway, with Windows 10, it just has, it, like, if you have a folder filled with wallpapers and you have it labeled A, B, C, and D, it's just going to show it in that one specific order. However, like in Windows 7, it allows you to have a shuffle feature, which, where it may start with wallpaper A, it'll then move on to like wallpaper D, and then wallpaper B, then C, instead of just A, B, C, and D. Now then, how do you get it back? Now, it's still in Windows 10, but like I said, for whatever reason, it was disabled. Some smart person, I guess, decided to do that. So, here's how to get it back, and this is credit to some users on Reddit. Thank you guys for finding this. Definitely. I'm enjoying my randomized wallpapers now. Now, there are two methods you can go ahead and do this. Now, there, here's a screenshot of the first method, and that's going into the Windows registry and adding in a registry key. Now, this is only for people who know their way around the Windows registry. If you don't know about it, don't attempt it, because if you do it and you mess something up, it can screw up your entire computer. So, if you're not experienced with the Windows registry, don't touch it. Just go straight on over here to the second, much more simpler method. All you have to do is copy this command line right here from control to wallpaper. So here's that. Copy. I'm just going to minimize Google Chrome. And I'm going to bring up my run dialog, which is done by simply pressing the Windows key and then R. And then just type in CMD. I've already done so. Press OK or hit Enter, whichever one you want to do. Then, of course, the command dialog is going to come up. Right here. Next to the ticker, you're just going to click Paste. And then hit Enter. And hey, doesn't that look familiar? Yes, this is the original registry. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Sorry. The original wallpaper dialog that you may know from Windows 7. Now, with this, all you have to do is go ahead and press that tick right there next to shuffle. It has all the same options that the Windows 10 dialog has except that. I'm just going to quickly go ahead and bring up the Windows 10 dialog. And as you can see, of course, it's a much more simpler layout. And it has three options. You know, picture, solid color, and slideshow. And under slideshow, it gives you the option to go ahead and change the picture either every one minute to one day. Here, it gives you the op even more options of either every 10 seconds or up to one day. And of course, unlike this, it's missing this. It's missing the shuffle feature. Now, once you go ahead and click shuffle, it's just going to overwrite this completely, and you can have your wallpaper set in a random motion. You can see those are the first three wallpapers in my wallpaper folder, however, it's going in a very random, it's going in a random motion now that I have the shuffle feature enabled. Alright, so like I said, it's a very small option, you know, it may not matter to some people, because I know people who've had the same wallpaper on their screens for literal months, if not years, so like I said, it's a very small feature, but it's very important to people like me, because I like seeing a fresh coat of paint every now and again, if you know what I mean, so yeah. It's, like I said, it's a very simple method, thanks to the users at Reddit, so you can go ahead and try that out. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below and tell me if it works for you, which it definitely should, and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, you guys have a great one, and I'm going to see you later. This is Extremizer, signing off.